Okay, for some people, they go behind. They come up with far powerful invention because they're operating the extra beings. The inspiration is beyond. Because the Oster involved the generation of heavens, they begin to participate. So heaven have got the generations. Heaven have got the host. So when God opened up, he allowed those hosts to get step in him. That you can find that little effort, but massive production. It depends on the gate a person is knocking. Because here in heavens, there are different gates. There are the gate of satanic power and the gate of God. So it depends on the people which gate that they are knocking from. Remember, Jacob, he saw the heaven was open. He see the angel, they were ascending and descending. He said, hey, I did not know that this place is the gate of heaven. It's a place where there's an activity of generation of heavens, of the host of heaven. They were coming from above, penetrating human domain. After they perform activity, they go back again in heavens. When they were coming, they were coming to influence the intelligence of a person. To influence the action of a person. <laughs> oh my God. Look just the owner of King. Is it King what? So it's King. The kind of legacy the man have left. Generation. And I'm told that this man built mosques around Zambia. I'm told this man put even the preacher of, of Islamic preacher on a higher standard salary. One man is controlling Ufuna biscuit in the trade king. Ufuna cooking oil in the trading. Ufuna saf training. King trade, whatever, king whatever. Mazambian Marikuti. The problem, the problem, we need to activate also the realm of the spirit. Until these beings are involved, the generation of heavens are involved, then our activity shall bring forth production. And those who struggle, it depends on the gate you are knocking from. Which gate are you knocking? That's when a person has mastered the rules of heaven and has established them on earth, that person is very dangerous. You can find Job chapter 38, verse 33. Job said, do you know the rules of heavens? If you establish them on earth, do you know when you establish the rules of heavens? Remember, since in heaven there have never been perfection, automatically in your surrounding there will never, never be imperfection. Ah. Someone say, amen, I bless you. Say again, enough is enough. I shall no longer go to my pagan friend. Sometimes fire, a fire, a fire. my But this one say, I was ashamed because I've told them I'm a child of God. I was ashamed because I've told them I belong to heaven. I was ashamed because I told them my father is in heaven. Even though you are calling them for a good cause, but I to child because Once they just so call come, ah, but was in rip. Or maybe I could just see but I will not get meeting. We just meet back. Because how you how you pass as if we have never seen a after Jacob. But that embarrassment is coming to an end. Heaven is a masuka lelo. Uzamu na mulungu mwa yowako. Angawani pasa ameni ya buino, even in masuke pa moyo wako. Now let me tell you now, when you are engaging heaven, the first rules that sustain the engagement of heaven, the first rules that sustains, then I conclude how to engage the first rules, but I will conclude on this one. The rules of respecting protocol and authority. We have a serious problem in a Christianity community. That our heaven is shut. 
We are not like Muslim. Whom are trained to respect protocol and authority established. <laughs> and these are the things you can find even in a satanic kingdom. People respect the ranks. Even in the military, people respect ranks. That's the fun the scripture said, do you know the rules of the heaven? When you master them, then you can be able to establish the kingdom here on earth. And when you establish the kingdom on earth, you become very successful. This is something that prompted me, if you chose some of us. If you chose some of us. That's how we are far. I think that has become the secret of many Nigerian and many Western African people. They start adopting and respecting rules, the protocol and authority. Spiritual authority, parental authority, community authority, governor, government authority. And protocol is very important to be respected and to be honored. These are the reasons why heaven testify about Jesus. And remember when heaven testify about you. So the earth will begin to relate with you on how the heaven revealed about you. Ah, someone say again, amen. I'm going to give you this verse, then I conclude. Just get this right. I'm repeating again. The earth responds to a person based on how heaven has revealed you. Now, for heaven to reveal you, so that at least heaven can engage and can influence the action of the earth to you, you must be a person that respects the rules. Because what is in heaven rules? Remember, at one time, let me tell you at one time, when Mick, Michael, and Lucifer they were fighting over the board of Moses. Since all of them, they are same in the rank. Michael could not defeat Lucifer because all of them, they are what called, they are called what was cherubim. They were fighting. They were disputing over the body. When Michael realized that they were both in the same rank, nobody could pay respect of anybody. You know what he did? He said, may the Lord himself. So once he engaged the higher authority, the scripture said, there and there, Satan let go of the body of Jesus, of, of Moses. We go again in the time of Daniel when an angel who was inferior was sent to deliver the message to Daniel, the prince of Persia, who is a principality, though he is a satanic principality, was able to arrest him for 21 solid days. Respect of protocol and the authority. Many people we are failing to operate and the heaven open because we don't have to respect authority and protocol. Otherwise, heaven he can't testify. And remember, the have, I'm going to give the verse. The have to respond with you, relate with you, or now heaven is revealing about you. I'm going to give you the verse. Listen, give me Matthew chapter, chapter 3, verse 13. Understand this one. Jesus could have said, No, me also I'm the Lord. But because you understand protocol, who goes ahead of you? Who have seen the light ahead of you? Even the one we are in the, the, the realm of Jesus, there's people that have gone ahead of us. They have seen the God before us. Oh, yes. Are you there? Amen. Matthew chapter 3. Then Jesus came from Galilee to Jordan to be baptized by John. Now imagine, who is going? Emmanuel. But you understand the rules of heaven. Nobody can present himself. Yes. Rules of heaven. Nobody present him. No father, no mother, Melchizedek. No protocol at all. I think I'm a prophet. No background. Nobody present him. Did Jesus need a presentation? Did God need a presentation? But how come when it comes to the rules of authority and protocol? He had to submit to what has established. He did not work against it. That are some of you, you are making a mistake. You think by putting prophet bless down, you succeed. No, you don't succeed unless I present you. Let me make it even simple. It is my available grace that has made me and all the people to know each other. So it means my grace that will present you Silungwe. My grace that I present to Jonathan. My grace that I present to you, Jabez. Amen. Jabez can never know you without this protocol and authority. 
It doesn't matter how you are born. But spirituality does not work against like that. Jesus thought he was God. He understand the rules of heaven. They are protocol. They are authority. If I want heaven to be open, I must follow protocol. I must obey authority. As long as John went ahead of me, he was the one who was selected in heaven to prepare the way for me. He must be the one to present me again. In our country of God, a lot of mercy, Zedek. No father, no mother. You ask, okay, what is your background of your ministry? Where do you start from? No, first, Nachiamba Muriba Kaputo. Then the Lord told me, DH was not okay. Nachoka Nangena Muriba Basunguruma. Mama Sunguma put in a paper for three months. Nachoka. You understand that the person has no form. He's formless. He said, yes. That's why there's too much perfection. If you want to experience perfection, be like heaven. Amen. Respond like heaven. He came. This is what happened. But John tried to resist him. To say, uh -uh. How can I baptize Lisa? He said, No, no, I'm the one who established the rules of heaven. I'm the one who established the protocol. If I go against it, then heaven will remain shut. What I want, I don't want to move alone under heaven that is closed. If I operate under heaven that is closed, it means I'm doing things out of time. I'll be doing things out of the season. I'll be doing things beyond the days. I'll be always be late. I'll always find myself out of the time. Uh, 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 uh. I thought someone clap again, hand again for Jesus. Listen, what happened? I don't want heaven to be open and to be remain closed. And remember, the danger is when the heaven is closed, even the earth is closed. Ah, someone say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Wait, I'm going to give you a verse the last verse, then I pray with you. Let's go, let's go, let's go, my daughter. Finish. I give the last verse. Prepare Job chapter 20, verse 27. That's the last one. Then, what happened? Try to, de to deter him, mean to resist him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and you come to me. Jesus replied, Let it be so. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill order, oh to fulfill spiritual laws. We need to establish it even here. And what happened? <coughs> then John comes agree. As soon as he was baptized, he went up to the water. And that moment, the scripture said, heaven was one. And heaven was one. And when heaven was open, already there was a testimony was coming from heaven. This is my son. Oh my God. Now imagine when heaven testify you like that. When heaven reveal you that you are the most loved one of God. Do you know how they had to respond? Give me Job chapter 20 verse 27. Then I conclude with you. Understand what I'm trying to say. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's no order. People, they don't respect authority. They don't respect protocol. That's why heaven is shut. No submission. No service to the people that have gone ahead of you. People are rebellious, but they want to operate under heaven that is open. It's impossible. Until heaven is open. Then you find yourself in all season fit. I'm telling you. Listen to what the scripture said. Give me, give me. Job chapter 20, verse 27. He said, listen. Here they say, the heavens reviews. Is you new kitty mean mistakes. And because of the revelation that was coming from heaven. That review that Uyumuntu no funta. And the scripture says what? And the earth rise up against him. Why is the earth rising against the person? The scripture says it is in line of what heaven has revealed about the person. Ah, someone say amen. Someone say amen. Am I blessing someone here? Because of what heaven has said over this person, automatically even the earth become against the person. Because the heaven has revealed iniquity. What about if the heavens reveal righteousness? Now, be do it vice versa. I want to repeat again. Heaven 
revealed this person iniquity that is cursed and automatically the earth respond to the revelation of the heaven and begin to rise up against someone to operate against someone contradict the effort of somebody why in line of what heaven has unveiled but what about if heaven say this is my son in whom i'm well pleased what shall happen to you it means the earth shall work in your favor but i've come to announce somebody there is a revelation in heaven uh, that you are the most loved child of God. Uh, you are the precious uh, things in the hand of God. Uh, you are the selected one of God. Uh, earth uh, shall respond. Uh, I see the business be open. Uh, I see favor coming upon your life. Uh, if you give me a better amen, uh, may the Lord begin to work in your favor. Let's learn to respect authority and protocol. First number one, the way it is, order is very important. That's the first some of the, the people they fail to stay. When you are under a leadership of this, you cannot be two prophets at the same time. Me, I'm prophesizing. You also combine marry with me to my phone, na na corner. How can you see you bypass the gate, the keeper of the house? Even the way it is, none of the pastors, none of the leader is entitled to get a money from anybody, whether tight from anybody. That's your order, that protocol. Amen. Someone say again, amen. amen. Because otherwise we'll bring, we'll shut the heaven. That's why find many that are collapsing. Me also, I'm a man of God. Who told you you bypass your father? Anything you need, I'm a custodian of the house. I can command and the command. Ah, clap again your hand. Let me tell you why many people there. Even when you feel a need to help someone, follow protocol. Amen. Because you don't know the status quo of everybody here. Somebody may be a wizard, but I'm tolerating them. You go, you give them a money without my knowledge, things begin to shut down. Then you come, Papa, things went about. But they problem, did you obey? Whenever you feel a need of assisting, I can never feel jealous of anybody here. Come to me, Papa, I'll feel convic conviction that I should send something to this brother. Should I go ahead? What about if someone is under jurisdiction? Is under punishment? Do you know everybody what they carry upon their spirit? Somebody may be here but is under a serious judgment of God. God has placed them in that situation so that they may learn not to blaspheme. But if you want to redeem them, the Lord will suck you. Ah, someone say amen. I don't know why the Lord told me to teach you these things because I think church in Zambia is struggling because of that level of hypocrisy. But as a result, heaven is shut. Heaven is revealing their weakness. Then how do you expect the earth to respond favorably to you? You have a dream for somebody. Come and see me. Papa, when I was praying, I had a dream. Some of you, oh, sure. Mama, I'm a pimp, i secret man. Hallelujah. Naban. Okay. Since you don't obey protocol and authority, heaven will never be open. Listen, Jesus, because of respecting order, what happened? The Bible said, Heaven was open. He said, This is my son, in whom I'm well pleased. Because he understands order and protocol. He does not overjump, jumping, jump by excitement. You are given the mandate to preach and the to pro prophesy when I've given you the mandate. Speak when I'm there. Not, you know, sister, I was just calling to tell the you so I'm about to tell There's the only one keeper of the soul here. Amen. That's me. Uh -uh. I, I thought you'd clap again and again for Jesus. Side teaching, if we don't teach it in church, there'll be abnormality and disorder. Uh, someone say again, amen. amen. Nobody can come with a project. That's why we have got a lot of problems. No matter how much you want to involve with someone in business, come and see me. Because in case if you are full on I'm talking from the experience. I'm a pastor, I know everybody. The scripture says, know your sheep. I know my sheep. I know the strengths of everybody. I know the weakness of everybody. So when you come to follow order, I will advise you accordingly. I will not destroy a person 
but I'll give you wisdom on how to relate to a person. Ah, someone say amen. Someone say again amen. Someone give me a better amen. Because, you know, I've come to that. They don't say that. They think that you've you never told the people about the protocol and order <laughs> for open heaven. Otherwise, these people will continue to struggle. How is heaven reviewed you? Heaven can only review you perfectly if a man who respect order and protocol. That's why Job 38, 33 said, do you know the rules of heaven? So until you know the rules, then now you shall establish them on earth. And when you establish them on earth, automatically, earth will respond favorably to you. May the Lord bless his word. Ah, though you are not clapping. <coughs> ah, clap again, I bless you. You are not clapping enough. I respect time, I think, for five minutes. I just look at say, otherwise people say, Papa, say for five minutes. Have a seat first. Uh, can you clap again your hand again? God should bless you. Uh, you're not clapping enough.